on the buns now the land slope 4% medium rainfall zone the horizontal spacing of the bun and length of the bun we need to find out so the original slope has been given 4% so again i need for horizontal interval we know that land slope s is equal to vertical interval by the horizontal interval into 100 okay so now here slope is given and based on the vertical interval formula given the vertical interval formula this is okay the given data we substitute s yes value so we'll get the vertical interval so based on this formula you will get the horizontal interval and the length of the bun so simple length of the bun means this is my area so length of bun this is my length of bun contour bun contour you know already equal elevation of now horizontal interval this is my horizontal interval vertical horizontal distance between two buns this is my horizontal interval and length of bun means starting point is here to end point this one so this is total length of the bun l so you know the area is equals to length into distance so this is the length this is the distance that is nothing but your horizontal interval so now area for already find the area per hectare 1 hectare equal 10 power of 4 meter square l into distance that nothing but your horizontal interval so l is equals to 10 power of 4 by horizontal interval that is the formula here i substitute the all values horizontal interval 25 meter and i get the length and next problem so calculate the total length total length similar way now just we have calculated and add to work of the contour bun per hectare on the slope of 5% and other given data has been given the bun spacing bun that is nothing but your bun spacing 25 meter and other specification of bun given top width this is my top width top width is given and bottom width this is my bottom width height of the bun height of the bun is equal to 100 cm so that nothing but that is 1 meter one height of bun is 1 meter so now this is my top width and this is comes under your bottom width okay so this is combination of your simple two triangles and one rectangle okay now this is simply one triangle shape this is a triangle shape and another triangle shape and this is your rectangle shape so given data is the top width 50 cm bottom width 125 cm height is 100 cm slope is 1 so simple we know the formula based on your uh, slope that is equal to vertical interval by horizontal interval into 100 so now substitute the all values your uh, slope and horizontal interval 25 meter already given so you get the vertical interval so area width work for your bun okay including your lateral bun and side bun 1.3 into 100 into s by vertical interval into cross section area so cross section area nothing but your top width by bottom width by 2 top width plus bottom width by 2 into height that is your simple cross section area top width into height height is 1 top width bottom width by 2 into height so if you substitute all the values you get the earth work in meter cube so next another method is the simple length of the bun per hectare 10 power of 4 by horizontal interval horizontal interval already given that is 400 meters so length of the bun this is i get suppose this is my length of the bun total length length of the bun this is now due to construction of your side bun and lateral bun we already discussed in the theory that due to construction of the bun this is not this is area not uh, comes under your cultivation so this area has been lost okay with the, uh, for cultivation so in this condition i will take 30% of the main bun so length of main bun how much 400 400 in 30% that is your 30 by 100 into 400 that is your 120 meter so now total is equal to 400 plus 120 so total available this is my area so now total length of the bun is okay main bun this is the main bun and this is my lateral and side bun that is a 520 meters so earth work you know top width by bottom width top width plus bottom width by 2 into height okay that is your simple area and total length of the main bun total length of your uh, bun so individually by your main bun that is 400 okay and 
साइड एंड लैटरल बंड दट इज युअर साइड एंड लैटरल बंड सिंपलर सिमिलरली टॉप इर्थ बॉटम इर्थ बै वन ट्वेंटी टोटल सम आफ् युवर मेन बंड प्लस लैटरल बंड सम आफ दिस टू बंड यू गेट दि टोटल इर्थ वर्क आफ् युअर बंड सो बो दिस इज द वैल्यू फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फाइव मीटर क्यूब सो यू गॉट एंड सेम फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फाइव मीटर क्यूब सो बेस्ड ऑन युअर सिंपल डैरेक्ट फार्मला अदरव इफ यू नो द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट यू कैन आलो फाइंड दि इंडिविजुअली फर् फस्ट एर्थ वर्क युवर फर् मेन बंड एर्थ वर्क फर् युवर सैड बंड प्लस लैटरल बंड एंड सम आफ दिस इज अंडर युअर टोटल मेन टोटल बंड एर्थ वर्क सो नैक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज द कैल्युलेट दि एरिया लास् एरिया लास् पर् हेक्टार सो ड्यू टू कंस्ट्रक्शन आफ युअर दिस बंड हाउ मच एरिया हेज बी लास्ट ई टोल यू सिंपल द एरिया सिंपल दट इज एरिया लास् ईक्वल वन पॉइंट थ्री इंटू हंड्रेड इंटू स्लो बै वर्टिकल इंटरवल इंटू मल्टीप्लै विथ युअर सिंपल बी इयर लैंड स्लो बी गिवेन फाइव पर्सेंट बेस विथ बी गिवेन दट इज युअर वन पॉइंट टू फाइव हर्ज एंड इंटरवल गिवेन सो ना ई नीड टू इयर वाट इज वर्टिकल इंटरवल सो इयर डैरेक्टली नाट गिवेन दट इज वर्टिकल इंटरवल नाट गिवेन सो बेस्ट आन युअर स्लो इक्वल वर्टिकल इंटरवल बै हर्ज एंड इंटरवल इंट हंड्रेड ई नीड टू फाइंड दि वर्टिकल इंटरवल सब्सटिट्यूट दि Slope and horizontal interval in this formula and get the vertical interval and you substitute all the values, okay, including your vertical interval into base width. That will give you the area loss per hectare. So this is means up to 10 power of 4 meter square actual area. So in this, due to only bund, how much area? That is 650 meter square area has been lost. So total available area that is where 10 power 10. Thousand minus six hundred fifty. Okay, this is my actual area under the cultivation. This is the my area under the cultivation. Next, another formula, simple, another problem. Let us see the following uh, design parameter of the contour bund has been constructed on the land slope. The vertical interval directly given here and base width. Okay, let us see. This is the my bund. Okay. This is my base. So here the vertical interval, another bund. So high height. This is the my vertical interval and base width. This is the my base width. That is how much? Two point five meters. This is larger bund as compared to previous. And top width is a zero point five meters. And the height of this bund, total height of the bund is how much? One meter. Okay. Now assume the length for the side and lateral bunds. Of the length of the contour bund means here assuming the also be length of the lateral bund and side bund included here. Okay, now the area last the bunding simple given data. This other given data is studied. So area of the for last thirteen one point three into s yes, into width that is your base width. Substitute the all area values and get the answer. This is your area last due to the bund. Okay, another problem here yeah, the area the bunds has to constructed under conserve the rainwater. So here the need to conserve the rainwater. So here asking the how much depth of water has been stored behind the bund. Okay, due to the construction of this bund, due to construction of this bund, the total depth of the water, how much area has water volume of water has been stored in this uh, behind the bund. So that is we know that due to the excess rainfall, the formula for the bund. Height of the bund is the rainfall excess into vertical interval by uh, vertical interval by 50. So here the R rainfall excess is always in centimeter. This always in meters. So now here the horizontal in this problem horizontal interval given that is 30 meters. Excess rainfall 18 centimeter. Okay, return period means every 20 years there is a probability of chance of 18 centimeter. Here the return period means after means suppose 2000. And 2010, 2020. So here distance, how many years gap here? 10 years. Here 10 years. Again 2030. Here also be 10 years. Now, so 2000 to 2018. How many years? 18 years. To these 18 years, mean in every 18 years, in every every 18 years, there is a chance of occurrence of excess rainfall 18 years. That is called your simple return period. Okay, we are not going to discuss. Thoroughly in written period, we already learned in maybe you already learned in your meteorology classes. So now, 
so horizontal interval given so that's why we need to find our vertical interval based on the simple formula you need to find out vertical interval and substitute the rainfall excess and vertical interval and you get the simple height of the band means this is i mean 81 cm so you can say that simply depth of the water so depth of the water here so maybe 18 cent 81 cm so depth of water has been stored 81 cm behind your band